Hello, my dear friends. My name is Paul Amateur Radio. Call sign is Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. I have a great news because uh, the Radio Dite, which is supplier of this radio, uh, which is the Radi RF919, and you had seen maybe the video about this radio I did in the past, just announced me that they will support or they will include this T shaped external ferrite antenna with. 3.5 millimeter jack on the bottom which perfectly fits into this socket on top of this radio you can also rotate this antenna and uh, definitely this antenna is more sensitive or more efficient than internal loop antenna so in this video i would like to tell you very important information the radio dt company will include this antenna into the package uh, for all next orders of this radio i didn't get this antenna previously because uh, it was not included in my package so they announce you that if you already purchased this radio you have to contact them on their uh, support email you have to give them uh, your order ID and they will send you this antenna so if you order it purchased this radio already write them to the email I will uh, write you down into the video description and uh, tell them your order ID and they will provide you the same antenna let me uh, show you how this antenna receives on AM and also on the long waves and also let me do a short comparison between internal antenna and external antenna especially on the long waves and uh, if it's worth or not to get this antenna so let's go The ferrite antenna is actually bi-directional antenna. It receives from two directions, from this and also from the opposite direction. If you wish to tune some station from the country uh, which is coming from this direction, you will not hear anything. So you need to rotate the antenna right like this and now you will receive the signal. So therefore, it's very important to have this antenna rotatable. And here you can see actually how you can rotate the antenna and face the antenna towards the country, uh, towards the station which you want to listen. Also very important is to switch this little switch on top of this radio, like here, to the position on. So if you have this switch on off position, you have to turn it on. Then you can receive the signals from this external loop antenna. All right, so here you can see the station from Poland. And the Poland is actually in this direction. Okay, so the radio and the antenna are in the same plane, so this is the maximum signal reception and here you can see when I rotate the antenna to the opposite side the signal will disappear you see and now it will appear and disappear and it is here So this is how the antenna works and this is the way how you can actually find uh, from what direction the signal you receive coming from. So let me uh, go to the AM stations, uh, to the middle wave and uh, let me show you the same. And here is the station on 630 kilohertz on the AM. So let me show you. Uh, 
And uh, finally, let me do a short comparison on the middle waves and on the long waves between internal antenna, which is the built-in antenna, and external antenna, T-shape antenna. I found very interesting thing that this external antenna is more efficient on the long waves than the internal antenna. It's not so efficient on the AM band as you will see right here. So you can see the external antenna. and switch to the internal antenna. As you can see, the signal is better here. You can also tune this antenna with the knob on the right side. Okay, I found the spot where is the signal the best, like here. And when I switch to the external antenna, like here, is the signal significantly uh, weaker. And let's go back to the internal antenna. It is much better. Seems that this station is from Romania. This is external T-shape antenna. And built-in internal antenna. Okay, and now let's go back to down to the long waves and compare both antennas. And you will see that on long waves is the T-shaped antenna more efficient. I am back on the frequency 225 kilohertz and the Polish station. So I'm on the external antenna, as you can see here. I will rotate it for the best signal. So as you can see that this direction is the best, which is also the direction of the whole radio. Which means that this is the direction of internal built-in antenna as well. And now let me switch to the internal antenna. So this is external antenna. And this is internal antenna. external antenna, T-shape. And internal antenna. As you can see, that I'm not able to receive the same signal on the internal antenna. And I'm able to receive it on external T-shape antenna. So as you can see here that the T-shaped antenna is more effective on the long waves, is not as effective as internal antenna on the middle waves. And also you can use this antenna with the ATS120 receiver. So here, as you can see, I'm on the middle waves and I connect the antenna to the bottom of this radio. And also compared to this whip antenna, now it is reception with external whip antenna. Pretty cool.
and signal with this external loop antenna. Also pretty cool. And it is also directive. It's not directive with external width antenna, but you can find direction of the signal with this loop antenna. That's pretty nice. So thank you my friends for watching this very short video and the link or the email for the Radio DT support for your ID and your antenna you will find down in the video description. Thank you for watching and 73.